Sometimes that means some crazy weather for some of us, meaning you're going to need some extra travel time, some driving hazards this morning. Southeast of Onondaga County, that's where we're going to end up with three to six inches of snow. In Otsego County, there could even be some spots that get six to nine inches of snow before the snow comes to an end by midday. Icy roads, too. There'll be some spots that are in the upper 20s, so things could freeze up after being on the rather mild side yesterday afternoon. I don't see any extreme warmth or a lot of rainfall, but I don't see any blizzards or extreme bitter cold. Just a very active jet stream pattern that's going to bring along several things. One low pressure last night on the East Coast. Cold front tomorrow morning. There's going to be some lake effect talk. A new aerial wide storm system later Wednesday. So here's the first one. We'll get rid of that this morning. The snow's already come to an end to the north and west of Onondaga County. That'll be happening in the next hour or two for the city of Syracuse. Just some light snow, very minor additional snow in the city. However, further to the southeast, closer to the big city, the Big Apple, that's where the snow starts to pick up and the heaviest there in the Route 88 corridor. Otsego, maybe southern Shenango County. They've got heavy snow. Rural locations down there travels treacherous this morning. There's some slightly drier air comes in, but it's a little chillier, so I do think we get going some lake effect. Nothing heavy. It's going to be scattered and light snow showers this afternoon, but there you see it coming in southeast of Lake Ontario with a northwesterly wind flow. Temperatures only hit about 33, maybe 34 this afternoon. Those scattered light snow showers and flurries move to the north, and towards 11 o'clock and midnight, the lake effect gains strength a little bit, especially up at high elevations of the Tug Hill towards the Tri-County border area around midnight through the overnight hours up towards Watertown. Then a cold front comes in. It's right in through here, and that'll come through with some snow showers briefly tomorrow morning's commute. However, it will enhance that lake effect band, so they're going to be at times when it could be heavy snow east of the lake. It breaks up a little bit as we go into the afternoon because it turns windy for tomorrow. So we get some minor accumulation here, more amounts as you get up in elevation east of Lake Ontario. Now, as the winds die down tomorrow night, that band comes together a little bit and it shifts to more west northwesterly flow, bringing it into Syracuse. That tapers off towards Wednesday morning's commute. But there's the next system that comes in during the afternoon with briefly some snow before wintry mix is possible towards Wednesday night. So additional snow, less than an inch for Syracuse, little to nothing near Lake Ontario shoreline. And you know, most of this is actually by the noon hour, but another one to two, maybe three inches of snow, three to six inches when you get in Otsego County and especially over towards the Albany area. Not going to be a nice day there. Our snow is going to be tapering on the seven day forecast, 34 down to 30 tonight. Not extremely cold by any means. 36 for tomorrow. We'll be dealing with some scattered snow showers some shifting lake effect snow bands. As we go into Wednesday morning, there could be a peak of sun early. Then in the afternoon, some snow going over to a wintry mix or some rain Wednesday night. We rise to 36 very early on Thursday, and then we get periods of snow after a little mix early on. The lake effect snow showers could continue Friday morning east of Lake Ontario. That's the brightest of the days. It's also the coldest. We're finally below normal at 29. Another system Saturday with some snow showers into Sunday. Some lake effect snow showers. Abby?